State-sponsored clinical trials networks require that all PBMC processing laboratories complete the processing information fields within the specimen management module. This requirement includes the processing date, processing time, processed by tech initials, total cell count, and frozen time. The primary details button allows access to several of these entry fields. The processing date will default to the receive date entered for the primary specimen but can be modified as appropriate. The processing time is the time when the specimen tube was first opened. You might also think of this as the processing start time. Processing time is to be entered based on a 24-hour clock. The processed by tech initials will default to the user logged into the LDMS but can be modified as appropriate. Enter the total cell count value in the total cell count field. Please refer to the Cross Network PBMC Processing SOP for further information regarding the entry of total cell count. Click OK to exit the Primary Details button. You will be prompted to cascade the primary's processing time to the aliquots. Click Yes to cascade this information. Enter the aliquot details button for one of the aliquots to complete the frozen time field. Frozen time is defined as the time when the strata cooler or Mr. Frosty is put into the minus ADC freezer or when the cooling program of the controlled rate freezer, such as Cryomed, is started. Enter the frozen time. Note that the frozen date defaults to the processing date, but can be modified as needed. Click OK to exit the aliquot details button. You will then be prompted to cascade the frozen date and time to the other aliquots. Select the desired response. Once the processing fields are completed, click Save on the LDMS toolbar to save the changes to the record. Click OK on the Save message. You will then have the option to print labels for the aliquots. Click Yes or No. Note, all cryopreserved PBMC specimens should be assigned freezer locations in the storage management module of the LDMS prior to preparing the LDMS shipping file.